Is this the beginning of the end for fitness bands? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Nike is pulling the plug on the fuel band. CNET has learned that Nike fired a majority of its employees that worked on the fuel band fitness bracelet. Sources say Nike plans to stop making the fuel band as well as other wearable gear like the Nike Plus Sport Watch. But in the meantime, it will still sell and support the Nike Plus Fuel Band SE, which came out in November. Although fitness tracking bands are a hot new gadget category, this move does make sense for the shoemaker. Nike has always been a strong partner with Apple. And if Apple comes out with an iWatch later this year, Nike will likely have an app for the iWatch to track your fitness. So if Nike's on the iWatch, why still make the fuel band? If you're using a smartwatch to track your fitness goals, you probably won't also spend $150 on a fuel band. It looks like PowerPoint is getting a new buddy in the Office suite of apps. Microsoft is starting to test a program called Office Mix, and it turns PowerPoints into interactive presentations with data about how the audience is participating. You can record audio, video, and handwriting, and insert quizzes and other types of interactive lessons. It sounds like it's good for teachers who want to record lessons to view online. Microsoft is handing out codes now for select folks to test it. There are many reasons why some people may pick an iPhone over an Android phone, but could a video game make or break your decision? Just like the battles between the Xbox and the PlayStation over exclusive video game titles, Apple and Google are fighting to have exclusive app games. The Wall Street Journal shed light on this trend, reporting that EA, the publisher of the game Plants vs. Zombies 2, struck a deal with Apple to wait two months before releasing the game on Android. Sources also said that a similar deal was done with the publisher of Cut the Rope, waiting three months before releasing the sequel on Android. These game negotiations are common for traditional console video games, but the battle is just beginning to heat up in the mobile space. And if you long for the days when mobile games were much simpler, then you probably had a Nintendo Game Boy. And if you're still holding on to the original machine, you should wish it a happy birthday. Nintendo released the Game Boy 25 years ago on April 21st, 1989. And the first model came bundled with Tetris. It wasn't the first portable video game system, but it was the most popular in the 80s and 90s. The Nintendo DS holds the title now for the best-selling portable console of all time. That's your tech news update. You can head to CNET.com for more details. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.